A very big hello to all my wonderful and cutest little chapmies out there. I hope you're all doing great. Yes, and do not forget to have that little cute smile on your face, yeah? And today I'm going to talk about Nite University, my dear children, a deemed to UB University. Now, why is this important? Because a lot of you asked me about NMIT, that is Nite Minakshi Institute of Technology, which comes under this thing only, yeah? Now, I'm going to talk about a lot of things around it, very important things, yeah. One very important thing is that now you cannot get admission into NMIT through KCET or Common K. I hope I'm very much audible. You cannot get entry into NMIT, Nite Minakshi Institute of Technology or any colleges under Nite University through KCT or Comet K. They have their separate entrance examination about which I'm going to talk about. The deadline is so near you have to pay attention to it. Yeah and if you want uh, if you want to go ahead with it you have to apply as well. In this video I'm going to cover the fee details okay both about both the colleges that comes under Nite University which is of your concern engineering colleges yes and I'm going to talk about their placement rates I will be talking about the hostel facilities the fees and everything and also the eligibility for the entrance examination what type of examination will that be and everything and the date and everything yeah I hope that sums up a lot of things right and my dear children, all the information has been taken from their official website. Now, if you are someone who goes to the official website, you, you seem to have a lot of confusion around it because of promotional reasons. They have put multiple, multiple things, which kind of makes things confusing, which is why I thought we'll make a general video on it. It will be easy for you to understand. But there are certain information which are given differently in different pages. But anyways, at least for you to have an idea of how it works i'm going to talk about it because nmit is considered to be one of the top colleges of karnataka yes so let's see about nmit and the other college so nmit is native minakshi institute of technology that comes under Nita university itself it comes uh, it is in yelahanka bangalore yeah and this is number and email id just in case if you want to have a talk about admission and things like that this is from the official website i do not know whether they'll pick up or not but it's my duty to at least provide you basic information so i'm doing so and you have n m a m i t that is NMAM Institute of Technology. Okay, over here it is in Karkara Taluk Udupi. Fine, and this is the information about that. Now, these two colleges that you saw, I am going to talk about them separately, as in their fee structure, the courses that they offer, placement, and everything. Okay, so usually this is the one that is more famous, but you will get to see a lot about both of them. Now, I spoke about the courses that they offer. So, this is NMAIT campus this is the Bangalore NMIT Nite Minakshi Institute of Technology campus over here you have the courses aeronautical engineering not applicable not applicable not applicable that means it's not there over here it is there over here so all the children all the children who come on the general category now over here general does not mean the general category the caste category that we have over there no general includes all the audiences okay who do not fall under nri category and things like that all the audiences my dear children okay regardless of your caste you are in general over here okay now for them the fees will be what two lakh twenty five thousand fine now if you are getting the scholarship, so there's an entrance examination I told you that is new SAT about which I'll be talking about. Yeah, 20% seats are reserved for scholarship uh, children as well. Now, if you're getting the scholarship, your fees would be 1,50,000. Okay, and for NRI, the fees would be 2,50,000. I hope that is clear. So, this is how they have put down the segregation. Okay, there might be certain additional charges. We cannot be sure about that as in we as in all of us. Why I am telling is that in one page I saw that uh, 10,000 rupees have to be paid at NMIT for this, this purposes and in some other page I saw that 5,000 rupees has to be paid and an extra thing for this, this purposes. So there are certain things which are uh, not being covered properly and being very honest with you guys because i know the importance of money very very much which is why i'm telling you if you are someone who who, who have anyone uh, who's there in the controlling department of uh, nite minakshi instead of technology you can have a talk with them as well also if they give us more clarity in their website itself i'll be putting down 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 this later on fine so that is about that now uh, artificial intelligence ai and ds is also there over here it is uh, in both the campuses is there as you can see over here my dear children but you cannot get admission through nri quota there 
Yeah. So here it is 3 lakh, here it is 1 lakh 75,000 if you are getting the scholarship. For NRI over here in this campus it's there, it is 3 lakh 50,000. Yeah. Over here in NMIT the fees has been increased, that is 3 lakh 25,000. Yeah, the scholarship remains the same, that is 1 lakh 75,000 uh, would be the amount you have to pay if you have got the scholarship. Now it is not applicable for NRI in NMIT. Same thing goes for all the other courses that you can see. So you, there is artificial intelligence and machine learning AI ML. Then you have biotechnology, you have civil engineering, you have computer and communication, you have computer science my dear children and what? And you have computer science and business system, computer science, cyber security, all the allied courses, yeah. Electrical and electronics, electronics in communication, electronics in communication in advanced communication technology, electronics engineering, VLSI design and technology, information science, mechanical, robotics and artificial intelligence. These are the courses that they offer. This is the fee structure that they have put down in their official website. So if you if you have been to their official website, you see I had just taken the snip. No alteration, my dear children. Yes. So this is the information that we have uh, to give you. Works. So this is NMIT and this is NMAMIT. This is in Udupi. This is in Bangalore. Works. Chalo. Now going ahead with the details regarding the entrance examination. So entrance examination has been done, taken already. Okay, twice I think. Yeah. Now you have the third examination. Yes, that is on 14th to 16th June 2025. Okay, commencement of registration starts from 3rd April, it had already started, and the last date for registration start beginning is 4th June, and 4th June is kind of very near, so make sure you are doing the registration as soon as possible if you are someone who is interested in doing so. Yes, now the display of the answer key would be on 17th June 2025, 9am to 9pm. Announcement of result 21st June my dear children last day for reporting to the institution 31st July So you still have some time for reporting to the uh, what's say in-person counseling and everything is there Okay, so make sure you're going through each and every details out there And as I told you already I have given you the contact details as well as the email ID Please talk to them if you have any confusion so they have they have not mentioned the number of seats available Okay, so there is no seat matrix as an available in their official website, which is why I could not put in over here for but if you're someone who have no idea if you're in a belief that you can get admission to NMIT through KCT and Comet K, I wanted to rectify that as well. Yes. Now, my dear children, 20% of the seats in each program or the branch is set aside for candidates topping in NUCAT. That is this particular examination. Admission with a scholarship amounting to 20% to 40% of the prescribed fee will be offered to the toppers in NUCAT. Okay. They have not mentioned how many as well. Now, what is the type of exam? It is 120 multiple choice questions will be there. 120 minutes will be there. That means roughly one minute for each question. Yeah, there is no negative marking and it will be in online mode. The tentative, this is a tentative thing that is also they have mentioned. They would be, uh, let's say, um, um, letting you know through mail and things like that if you're someone who have registered. Okay, so this is about NUCAT. Now, Going ahead and I could not find any management quota seats as well. I want to tell about that because some people ask about management quota seats. So this is the general thing that we could find. Now eligibility and reservation of the entrance test. The basic eligibility for an admission to BTEC program is a pass in class 12th with a minimum of 50% in aggregate in total. Okay. In the optional subjects of physics, mathematics and any one of chemistry, biotechnology, biology, computer science, electronics with English as one of the languages of study. Now, I found this in another page. In case of candidates belonging to Karnataka scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and other backward classes, category this, 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 the minimum marks of the purpose of eligibility will be 45%. Here is 50, here is 45. Okay, in aggregate in the optional subjects in the qualifying examination. Now, Admission under the general category, as I told you, all the children comes under the general category. There is general category and there is NRI. That's all. So, admission under this category is primarily through the NITE University Common Admission Test, new SAT. Okay. And uh, candidates appearing for class 12 examination in 2024-25 are eligible to apply. 10% of the seats are reserved under inclusivity category for Indian nationals who have studied for 7 years between class 1 and class 2 in India but outside the state of Karnataka and having not less than 60% marks in PCM in class 12th. So this is not for children who are in Karnataka but outside Karnataka. Yes, and there is NRI uh, reservation category as well. Okay, works. 
so i hope that sums up at least a bit of things now going ahead with the placement records of nmit national sorry nite minakshi institute of technology bangalore one so over here they have put 2023-24 data in their official website they have not changed it okay so i can give you information regarding that yeah so the brands that gave much offerings is cse that is computer science engineering 184 students were eligible out of that 172 got the offers then comes isc that is information science and engineering 172 was a number out of that 152 got the thing then ece that is electronics and communication engineering then triple e then mac and then civil and then aeronautical okay now over here in their brochure they have put down this thing 400 person plus companies visited 1400 plus placements were offered 6 lpa was the average salary that is not everyone gets the highest salary right most of them get the average salary so 6 lp is considered to be the average salary okay and 47 lpa is the highest package is a global level that means children might have got a uh, job purpose abroad so in there in that case the money obviously would be different it will be more right so it is what sorry 47 lpa in in some place it is written just 47 lpa here it is 47 plus but i think it's 47 lpa yeah and then 30 lpa is the highest package of indian national okay so indians who are there who are getting recruited in indian companies they have got 30 lpa as the highest package cool so this is at about nmit placement now talking about the other one nma mit which is there in udupi over there the highest package as they have put it is 53 lakhs 400 plus recruiters came thousand plus job offers were made 90 percent students were recruited or were placed this is the information that is put down in their official website for nma mit okay now my dear children okay i have to go this way yes yes so placement statistics is again there for the year 2024 it's there so it was 878 the total offers which were there probably it might have increased later on because it was 2024 that is the previous year so they have not updated it over here but in the brochure as i told you sorry in the brochure as i've told you they have put as thousand plus offers but generally i always tell to students because this is not some paid promotion or things like that right um, and i believe we should all be honest this is about your future so this is what they have put in their official website and i hope that's true but it is really really good if you can talk to children who are studying over there they also would be having an idea about the placement rates which have taken place the previous year so you should be talking to them they will they will be giving you real time idea of a lot of things my dear children so the what say the uh, power of word is also equally important which is why i am telling you to talk to the children who are studying there you can talk to multiple people not just one or two okay please ask to multiple people get their opinions what are they telling okay uh, about the placement not about the fun and everything i always tell in every video fun comes in every college with the friend groups that you are going to make okay so do not think that this college i will go i won't have any fun no it's not like that make sure you are choosing a good college according to the placement rates and what your ambition is who do you want to become and things like that okay so make sure this is correct or not that's your responsibility i've given you the information which is there and there official website now i hope it's helpful if you find this video is helpful no you have to tell me just ma'am this video is really helpful i'm really happy please uh, make more videos this is the college that i want you to review and things like that i'll be really really happy to do so now hostel and other facilities of nmit my dear children so over here for nita minakshi institute of technology these are the things that they have mentioned there is gym for boys and girls there are other facilities okay outdoor and indoor sport facility wi-fi connectivity 24 into 7 hd power supply medical center security with cctv surveillance cooperative stationery store a team of two banks an on campus bank counter open air theater eateries and transportation is also available obviously with a fees now the cost of the hostel i could not the fees i would i was not able to find in the nmit website okay but i found this you may ask them but i have got the fee structure for the other one the one in udupi and i will be showing you that as well 
yeah so this i could not find which is why i could not obviously i cannot make and put one right that will be so bad so basically you can uh, do a little bit of your research by yourself can you please try to call them and talk to them or you can ask to children who are studying there yeah and this is a general thing i have already put up in the initial slide as well now talking about the other college which have put down the fee structure i am really really happy they did so okay so over here fee structure of net hostels at nite 2025-26 so this is an updated one so <clears throat> There is a total amount is 1 lakh 11,100 rupees for single occupants. That means a room where you are alone. Yeah. And 96,100 for twin sharing, bathroom attached. And then there's common bath where the amount reduces, reduces, reduces. There is AC also that becomes um, 1 lakh 31,100 and things like that. Depending on what is your comfortability, you can choose it. This is the, uh, what do you call the fee, hostel fees that is there. Okay, if you want to have a closer look, you can have it over here. So, bath attached, this, 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 single, and whatever is there. Now, I saw something over here that is first year boys will be accommodated only in block two, triple sharing or six. Okay, block two, triple sharing, or basically it will be six. You can only get accommodated over here. That means your roughly your fees would be either 71,100 or it could be, or it could be. If you are not choosing AC, it is 90, 96, 000, sorry, 96,100 rupees. Non-vegetarian items will be charged as per consumption. AC rooms and single occupancy rooms are subject to availability. For AC rooms, additional electricity, electricity charges will be collected. Okay, now you tell, let me know whether I have accumulated the, all the information or not. You tell me. I have give, I'm giving you all the information, my dear children, and I hope... <laughs> and I hope you are thankful for that. Now, the recruitment partners, the, obviously there are so many, to like 200 or there were so many numbers of companies out there. I could choose only a few. Oracle is there, Atkins is there, um, Nitanix is there, Amazon is there, Collins Aerospace, Accenture, Walmart, Aether, uh, London Stock Exchange, Adobe, Tata, Hitachi, and then we have Philips, McAfee, and all of things out there. Apart from that, also, there are so many recruitment partners as well. So, my dearest little champions, I think we have uh, covered a lot of things about the placement, about the hostel facilities, general general things about NewSat and how the exam is and things like that. I hope you didn't know it about all of this until now. Uh, so yes, if you think that this video is useful, obviously share it with friends who do not know about it, who want to get into this college. If they do not want to get into this college, do not send the video obviously, <laughs> yeah, but do not forget to what do you call uh, let us know what you need from us okay we will be delivering it this period now is of uh, is very close to kct counseling and things like that so obviously we would be focusing more on kct but of, if you are someone who thinks that i didn't get great rank in kct i want to go ahead with private colleges or universities and things like that we are here to help you out and you have to let us know about that yes so documents that are required for getting into this particular um, college university is that 10th uh, standard pass certificate of for proof of date of birth and things like that original plus three attested copies 12th standard or equivalent marks card pass certificate original plus three attested copies and all those things that you see over here so this is a list that they have given in their download brochure so in their official brochure so make sure you are going through all these things and you're carrying it if you want to get admission yes now for nri students obviously there is something else as well uh, valid passport and visa of parent and sponsor residence proof of parent or sponsor employment certificate of parent and sponsor sponsorship certificate fee payment shall be in foreign currency inr from nri nre account of sponsor relationship certificate and all those things are required for nri category as well yeah <sighs> are you finding it difficult to find all the important information about your dream college then you have to let us know as i already told you i do not want to bore you again by telling it again and again but i hope this video was helpful for you in some sense obviously i could not uh, give you all the information but with whatever information was there in their official website with whatever i think was useful for you I have made a video and uh, that's all yeah so please take care of yourself do let us know if you're helping if we are helping you well or not and uh, as i always said 
in the starting part of the video do not forget to have a little smile on your face yeah bye bye take care everything is going to be sorted yeah Ta-da.